Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this uh, tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to crochet the sleeves or any two parts of uh, the knitted items uh, using the crochet hook. And this is how it looks like. It's going to be a short tutorial to show you, to demonstrate how to sew up using a crochet hook. And this is the back. This is the back, how it looks like. You usually use a, a needle to sew up. This kind of needle. But for this demonstration, you just need a crochet hook. Just a regular crochet hook to sew up to give this effect. And it looks like machine sewn up. But no, it's done with a crochet hook. So get uh, so let's get started on how to sew up Okay, so uh, this is how we start and I am using my favorite crochet hook. It's 3.25 millimeter US US 8, I believe. It's hard to read. <laughs> They're so tiny. Where's my magnet? I have these uh, huge uh, things to read with. It's a 3 USD 3 if, if that helps anyways so <laughs> let's go back um, yeah just pick up your best crochet hook that you have and start start like just like this I pulled it and I am going to sew as to knit but using the crochet hook just like this and it gives that professional look one of my customers uh, sent me a message. Oh, how did you sew this up? It looks perfect. I thought it was a machine made. I said, no, I did it with my own hands. So I'm going to send her this tutorial <laughs> to show how I do it. And it's hard to look at it, but this is how it looks like. It gives that knit, uh, knit V's. So you go randomly, you just go and pull it. Do not pull it tight, just pull it, try to pull it as loose as you can. Like crocheting. Just like this. So I just wanted to share you this tutorial because it's unique. And when you turn it, it looks nice. I usually skip the two pearls when I'm sewing just like this so I skip the two and I go and grab the yarn it's like doing a slip stitch see doesn't this look nice I'm gonna try it, try to show it from here. And this is how it looks like. Same, it's, it looks, there's no difference. It's same as using the needle, but this way you're using your crochet hook and you're not cutting your yarn. See, usually what happens is you cut your yarn when you're sewing with your uh, needle and what happens is, oh, I didn't cut enough yarn which I hate when you're, you're sewing with this needle. You cut the yarn to thread it right between to sew it up. And I end up use, cutting less yarn and uh, that's what I hate about, but the hate, out, hate about it with sewing with, uh, with the needle. I just pull this a little bit loosely and I grab it. And then I pull it just like this. Snuck it a little bit, pull it again, just play around with it. So go back and this way you don't have to, uh, not a yarn over, just like a slip stitch. Just slip it like this. 
if you do a yarn over, let's say you did a yarn over, then it would be like this. So we don't want that. If you want, you can do it that way too. It's your own preference. And um, like I said, this way I don't have to worry about, oh, I don't have enough yarn. I have to cut more to sew it up. This way I just use it all the way to the end and I'm done. That's all to it. Just like this. And it goes pretty fast. So go between, pull it, skip two, go between, pull it, skip two, go between, pull it. Okay, so continue all the way and then I'll show you how to finish, finish it up. Okay, so I came all the way up. Unfortunately, when I put, uh, I'm knitting the other sleeve at the same time. So I have this yarn. So what I do is I just have a little bit left. What I'm going to do is, I didn't cut my yarn. So I am so happy. Don't have to, that was my only, I hated it when I didn't have enough yarn. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to clip this, cut this yarn, yay! <laughs> and then I'm going to pull the other yarn from underneath. So what I'll do is, I still have plenty of time. Uh, just cut a little bit extra. Yeah, I, I, I'm very picky with my yarns. Like I try not to... Uh, I tried to use all the way to the end chicken chicken yarn. <laughs> like I use every every space of the yarn that I have. Just like this and we are done. So pull this and then I'm just gonna weave that. Weave it again, securing the yarn. So this is what I'll do. Just weave it between, just like this. Play around with it. I I weave it all the way to the end. like that okay so this is how it looks like and this is the joint of the yarn and this is how it looks like I haven't blocked it yet I usually give a little bit of steam and I'll do that and I just wanted to show you when you turn or turn it around and this is how it looks like here's our my increases and it looks lovely, doesn't it? So this is how you use the crochet hook to sew up. And this is how it looks like. So I just wanted to share you this tutorial and uh, give you an idea how to use your crochet hook, crochet hook to sew up. And like I said, it's very easy and simple, and you don't have to worry about. Yeah, the increases are even equal. Love it. This one is a little bit, I must have pulled it. That's okay, nothing to worry about. This is the underarm. This is going. This is a bridal shrug for a bride who's getting married. So, and this is how it's done. I hope you liked this tutorial. 
Please share it with your family and friends. And happy knitting and happy crocheting.